It is marked NB for Nikki Butler. That is a really good one. Look at that moonstone. That is really, really good moonstone. It's even better than on the video. That is gorgeous. Look at this beautiful thing. You don't get these anymore. I, I bought this. I thought it was going to be an engagement ring. It was also supposed to be, you know, investment. It's a Paraiba. And the tag. There it is. See that? That is Tiffany and Company. I'm on my way right now to go to a new jewelry store. They have antique and vintage jewelry and I'm going on a hot tip. I told my friend that I was going thrifting and she told me to go to this jewelry store. The hot tip friend who told me about this place is Maria and I listen to her on Faith sometimes. So here we go. Let's see what they have. Look at this. It is way in the back over there. We are going I love the opals. Oh, look at that pretty diamond ring. That's beautiful. That's really beautiful. Little diamond flower. Okay, I'm excited. Look at this. I forgot I was wearing this shirt. Okay, so I see some things I really like uh, down here. I love this mangle with the enamel. That looks really special. Um, this looks like old Nikki Butler. We'll look at that. And um, it's a lovely little cameo, actually. But uh, I also like the bangle with the heart and the tricolor. I like the tricolor a lot. And now there's another case over here that I can't wait to get to. She's helping someone right now, but that is my favorite case. Wait until you see that. I'm loving, loving. That looks like old Nikki Butler. Look at the colors in there. That's such good moonstone. I'd love to see that. It is marked NB for Nikki Butler. That is a really good one. Look at that moonstone. That is really, really good moonstone. It's even better than on the video. That is gorgeous. Yeah, that's really, really beautiful. Amethyst, look at the sparkle on the amethyst, the garnet. That moonstone is just calling me. All right, that is 125. We're going to look at everything else first, but I really, I really do love that one here. Look at that. To see this bangle. That is not sterling, but. Uh, oh, oh, wow. Oh, that's so cool. What does it say? It says. It's like another band inside there, see it? Yeah, I did, yeah. 49. Estate. Can't read it, stand by. Okay, this is incredible. This is a definite yes. This is so mid-century. They have it marked as costume. I see an old red mark there, so it's probably um, a low silver, you know, not a sterling. But look at it. Look how amazing that is. Okay, that is a yes. Love it. It's vintage. It's right up my alley. I really love... It's an unusual bracelet. It's got a really large, oversized ring at the end. So I'm, I'm interested in seeing that, that clasp. Yeah, I think that's a very cool clasp. Are you gonna try it for a little bit though? Toggle. Oh, wow. That's a toggle. How much is that? That is... $49. That's a really good price for that. It's heavy. It's cool. Oh, okay. yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, we're going to get that one too. My nail just broke. Wait, oh, wait. No. <laughs> I think I really want this. Look at it. Look at it. Can you blame me? We'll have it. First. We'll get it for the group. We'll see who ends up with it. It might be me, it might be somebody else. <laughs> 
I really, really want to see that tricolor too. That old kind of texture is very mid-century. I'm still interested in the heart bangle. That's very sweet. And we'll have a look at that. That looks really cool too. That's Mexico most likely. Okay, so that is 225. So we don't need to see that one, even though it's beautiful. And that one is, mm, I can't tell how much that is. The 150 is the one next to it. So we'll still look at that. And we will look at that. I love that tricolor. But this case is empty. So let's get over there. I've been so excited to get into this case. Um, estate, sterling silver, diamond. There's Tiffany. That rhodochrosite, rhodolite, looks really, really beautiful. Um, and, okay, let's see what else is here. Gotcha. The fish. Look at all the rings. Okay, I like this big... Ooh, I don't know what that is. I really like it. We have to look at that. Ooh, that Chalcedony. Look at the Chalcedony. Um, also, that pink is beautiful. We'll have a look at that. And the, uh, the moon necklace. Can you see the moon necklace? That looks very special. Yeah, there it is from above. And that is can't quite oh 189 okay i'm gonna go ahead and get this okay, i can't resist it it's yeah, too beautiful, it's beautiful it? yeah but, and i used to have nikki butler and i don't anymore so nice. i'm gonna get that thank Excellent. you all right Put in the box. and there's a couple things i want to see sure. um the first one is the crescent moon shaped uh, oh it's a set yeah oops oh wow Okay, I can't read it. I, I gotta get my loop out. This has a mark that says VB Denmark. Where, where is it? Hold on. It's on this side. They are marked separate. Oh, I can't remember seeing anything Volmer? like this. Oh, Volmer. Volmer. Yeah, yep. that makes sense. <laughs> okay, so it's 85 for that. And... 189 for the necklace. 189 for the necklace. Okay. I'm seriously considering that. There's just a few more things I want to see. Look how beautiful that is. Those gemstones are exquisite. I guess that's gold over silver. Yeah, gorgeous. He took the whole tray out. I'm so excited. Okay, so this. Ooh, that's heavy. What is that? Is it? It's like a rose quartz, I guess. That is 65. Super heavy and beautiful. Okay, we'll put that back. This is a doublet. That's like something with quartz on top. That's pretty. Okay, well, I, I, the rings have to be really special because, uh oh, <laughs> speaking of. There you go. Look at that. Oh, that is Jimmy. Uh, 39. Okay. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, my God. Yes, that's a yes. Okay. You know, oh, what is this? That's fun. That is, hold on, let me read the tag. Okay. Look at this, everyone. Diamond cluster. Ring estate, $25. I guess those are black diamonds. Uh, looks like a mariner link. We will get that. And then the Chalcedony. This is so Yerman looking. Let me let me get the tag. That is a Judith Ripka Chalcedony for 70. So we will put that back. Are you seeing this? This is outrageous. This is outrageous. Look at the glow. 
Okay. That's awesome. Okay, that says 32. Orange. Estate. I think it's fire opal. Orange, NOE. I will find out. Okay, it also looks like um, gems in vogue. That's very special. Look, look at that glow. There it is. See that glow? That's how it looks in real life. Little ruby. Look how Sydney. Okay. I mean, there's a lot of beauty here, but I feel like these three are the ones that just stand out because it's black diamond and because it's a rare exotic, a really good example. And this reminds me so much of the moonstone that I saw at the Mad Museum. Like that's super, super gemmy. You could even put that in gold. That's gorgeous. So I'm gonna get these three. Okay. They're beautiful, I love them. And then there's a couple more things. I'm interested in this and the big rhodochrosite back there that looks like it's got spinel, spinel. Okay, you don't see something like this every day. Ooh, I think that's got a maker mark that I don't recognize. Oh no, it's just a fancy squiggle. Okay, let's put that on the, on the pad. Okay, yeah, that's gorgeous. What is that? Okay, your prices are really good. Yeah, we get the, we buy a lot of. Uh, wow. So it says topaz pendant. I guess it's mixed. Estate. It just says estate topaz pendant with the code for the. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. It's incredible. Look at it. Look at it. Look at the size of those gemstones. Those are yeses. All different topaz. And now we have this beautiful thing. Look at the pink. Okay, this. <laughs> oh my God, what am I doing? Dawn, what are you doing? That has, that's black and silver. There it is. Okay, this says, oh, it's pink sapphire. It's 145. Hmm. All right, so it's, it's uh, is it rhodochrosite or rose quartz? Rhodochrosite and pink sapphire. Uh, Am I giving you all the hard questions? Yeah, right. um, <laughs> Look at that, that's big amber. That's beautiful. 35, that's a great price for silver. This is beautiful, look at this. Uh, it's Carlo Viani. Oh, okay. Um, I think she might have found it. Let's see here. Okay, this is a no-brainer for 20. I don't know what this stone is, but it's beautiful. It's like shiny like a like it's a quartz, but it's I don't know. Maybe it's um I don't know. I don't know what it is, but it's $20. We're going to get it. Okay. So so far we're getting this. We're getting this. Look at those gemstones. We're getting the rose quartz and the pink sapphire. Oh, wow. We are getting <laughs> oh, the so black shiny. diamond. Wow. We are getting the jemmy, jemmy, jemmy That's moonstone, <laughs> the fire opal. And then the others he wow. packed up. Thank and you. one of them is the Nikki Butler. Oh, look at this display. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Okay. So, anymore. oh, that's mm -hmm. that, right? The awesome toggle. And this is the Nikki Butler. Look how beautiful that is. We're getting this, the toggle, all of that. And I forgot what else is. Oh, the beautiful bangle, the beautiful enamel bangle. Okay. So now there's just a couple more things. <laughs> Oh, you know what? I'm, I would. I'm just interested in the price on that. Because it was Yeah. I believe it's Tiffany. Yeah. Oh, it's Tiffany. Yeah. Well, I knew all four looked. Wow. I didn't realize they were. Two ninety-five. 
and 145 rose quartz. Yes. Okay. Let's so are the other ones still there? Is that how they do it? Or See, also everyone, it's great to come to a store like this once in a while because you can learn that way. You can get handle the good stuff. It's already um, researched and they know what it is. Hey, Tracy. You know. Maybe you can explain this. All right, there's that, and then here is whoopsies. No, no, that's okay. I'm trying to find the tag. There it is. See that? That is Tiffany and Company. All right, that's a really good. That's a really great price too. All right, if you guys. I know you guys are going to want it. If you guys want it, call. Okay. Uh, what's the number here? 908 689 What's your name? Greg Flagoff. Greg, oh, Flagoff. That's yes. how you say it. Okay. What's the number here? 908-689-0352. Okay. Somebody grab the Tiffany. Keep it in the family. It's good. Yeah. While he's totaling that, I'm going to tell you that I am leaving this today because it is what I collect. It is Denmark. It is Vilner, Vilner Bonner. It's, it's a big deal to me. Look at it. See the studs? And I know that if I bought this, I would end up keeping it so I'm gonna think on it it's not gonna happen today <laughs> I'm looking for the bank and I stumbled upon this look at these crystals oh, massive massive I know those are probably like amethyst or something on the other side look at the tables look how fun this groovy shop is Gaia's gifts all right well we'll come back to that I'm looking for the bank I didn't even see this case. Look at all the old cameos. The bird is really cool. This is gold. Look at that purple. I mean, pearl cluster. Look at the pearl cluster. The bird is really cool. I think that is a rooster. Gold, a turquoise, and diamonds. Various hanging. Oh, the big amethysts are gorgeous. And the lapis is gorgeous, too. Well, so I'm back from the bank and I realized that I need to look at these. Those look very Scandinavian to me too. There they are without the glare. Those look very, very good vintage. So I want to have a look at those. I didn't see them the first time because they were, see, they were in the glare and I was just looking at the uh, baby Denmark, which is still calling to me, but but we have to we have to check these out. See that see I, that's what I noticed. I noticed that they were like thick, that they weren't you know stamped. Oh, that's an interesting mark. Nine two five with like a little squiggle of some kind. Ooh, these are cool. <laughs> They're fifty five. All right, let me look at the other one. Mm -hmm. Does it say Mexico? No, it's like a little flower yeah, or a tree yeah. or something. Oh my gosh. And they feel so good. Like they're, they're so thick. Mm -hmm. How much are they again? 55. All right. I'm going to add those to the list. Okay. Pre owned Waterford crystal. Oh, nice. Silver. Oh, look at all the little spoons. Those are cool. I love these. Oh, look at those. Those are awesome. And Pandora. Wow, Pandora is a state now. That's amazing to me. Amazing. Okay, I have to pay, obviously. Yes, caffeine time. Hi, Steve. Nice meeting you. Okay, I am really excited about the, the, that last pair of earrings. That had a very interesting mark. I cannot wait to research it. Uh, I don't think I've ever taken you to a jewelry store to shop before that wasn't like antique mall, vintage reselling kind of environment. Like that is a genuine jewelry store with an estate section in the background or an estate department in the back. Um, 
but the prices were really good. The prices were like antique mall prices, right? And some of the prices were better than others. And I'm really excited about what I found. I can't believe I found what I did. I mean, $20 for a ring anywhere in a thrift store. That's a good price, right? So just really excited about that last ring that I found. Excited about the rose quartz and the pink sapphire. I mean, everything. I can't wait to research it. And that last pair of earrings. <gasps> What a mark that was. That was a mid-century mark. I think it's really good. I think that's mid-century New York. Can't wait to figure that one out. Now, it's like jewelry store day here at Hudson Vintage because I'm heading over to my friend Dan and I'm going to talk to him about making a ring for me out of that pin that I found in the old pin with the diamonds where it has to be like completely redone. So I'm going to take that to him along with a Paraiba tourmaline that I've had for a very long time and absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous gemstone that I bought for investment purposes a long time ago. It's still in its box. I think I'm ready to make a ring out of it. So stay with me. We're going to head over there and see what he can do. You guys, check out this fog. This is crazy. I'm excited. I can't wait to show you this gemstone. Oh my goodness. Pretty. Keshi pearls. Black pearls. Oh, big Baroque pearls. Akoya pearls. Oh no, those are freshwater. Freshwater coin. Those are amazing coin pearls. Those are amazing coin pearls. Okay, all right, okay. Look at this beautiful thing. It'll make them like this. You can't get these anymore. I, I bought this. I thought it was going to be an engagement ring. It was also supposed to be, you know, investment. It's a Paraiba. It's a really good one. The pop is amazing. Okay, we're good. You were going to hold that one out. See that? Okay. And this is the pin. And I'm here with Dan, and you're going to meet his hands in a second. He's going to see if we can do anything with it. Well, now this is going to be just a beautiful little exotic rare gemstone. We have the book. So you're looking for custom or you're looking to I'm see? I'm just looking to see if there's anything interesting in an okay. oval colored stone ring that might have some mm -hmm. see, side diamonds. I was thinking, oh, okay. I was thinking it was probably going to be custom because I want it. I, I want the halo to have a different size diamond on the top one. So that's pretty custom, right? See, it's a little bit bigger. So if we put the six around and then have the center one on the top. Just one on one side. Yeah. I mean, it, it's not quite a halo. It's like, you know, three and encircling and then... The one large one on the top, like a little chandelier or, I don't know, it might be goofy. You think that might be, you think, you think I think it'll be cool. So the other design idea is this vertical, and then you take these three on each side put them on the band and then the center like a little satellite like a little moon or something like that i'm going to draw it now okay so we are looking there's one more way out okay here's here's the power eba right and then okay so there's the stone diamond 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 on the band diamond 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 on the band right there's the band and i'm thinking a little satellite the larger diamond like here gotta play this number two 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 Right. Two, 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 two. Yeah, that's that's like fasting. Number, Are you serious? Or yeah, your repair ticket is two, 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 two. That happens all Here's the time. Here's the Paraiba. I'm, <laughs> I'm still broke. So. It's your, it's the angels. <laughs> it's the angel numbers. So that's the Paraiba. 
Here's the diamonds. What about the lottery numbers? Right. Yeah. And then I could also like maybe put one in the corner, the one that's a little larger. No, I really like it as a satellite. Oh. Yeah. Mm. All right, you are all set. These are all yeah, either great. smaller or larger. <laughs> There's nothing that's like in between. Those are those are more vintage. You know, this is. That's no, those are smaller. Yeah. Thank you. All right, thank you. Have a good rest of the day. Thank you. No, no, thank you. No. Oh, here I'm we go. Something like that. No. Why do you keep putting it on my bench? I don't need it on my bench. It's all. will measure everything. Okay. He's going to measure everything. Put it all into a computer. He's going to put it all into a computer. <laughs> and that's how stuff's done these days. And that's how stuff is done. Then. CGI, AI. Oh, right. The the machine. I love that. You I, I, I really do. Yeah. So you come start with that. Oh, yeah. Awesome. And yeah. And then I don't know if he'll get this yeah. elaborate. Well, that's like a whole different d design. That's a whole that's double thing. But it's a CAD, right? It's a, yeah. 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 I just want a single band with the. Yeah. So yeah. hopefully we can get you And a then drawing. I have a scatter bring that I want to have made in sterling. And it's like my very prized possession sterling scatter bring. Okay. Can you do a can you do a ca can you like cast that and make one out of copper or something so that I can have it made? Or where would I go for that? You have the ring? I have a ring. It's complete. I don't want to send it to India because it's too precious to me. Okay. And what do we want so to do? We want I want to have the made. Remake? Yeah. I want to have like a mold made okay. so that I can have it made. Yeah. You can do that? I think, not me personally, but the same yes. guy that's going to do this. <laughs> We're going to get right. it done. Look at these professional tools. God, I love this place. You are the best. You are really the best. Don't overstate it. So here's everything I got. Uh, you can count it as 11 pieces or 10 pieces if you count the set together. I will be selling the set together, so I would count it as 10 pieces. It is Tiffany, and you can't ignore Tiffany. When you find Tiffany in the wild, and it is a bargain price, this really was a bargain price. Look, there's the, uh, the clasp that is correct. And here it is, the double. That's what it's supposed to look like. And it came, obviously, they did their research already. All the stones are tested. Everything is tested and researched when you go to a place like that. So it was just incredible. And they gave me a really good deal because I have the YouTube channel. So I'm able to pass it on to you. I can't tell you what it was, but it was a very good deal. So that will be available soon. I have auctions and sales. I have a sale on Friday on the Niche Shopping Network at 7 p.m. Eastern. The link is in the description. And I also have an auction on this channel on Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern. I might be switching them around. Let me know if you'd prefer to have the auction on Friday instead of Wednesday and I, I can switch it. Uh, look at that. This is beautiful. This is heavy. Look at that interesting, beautiful link. I mean, just great. And this is unisex. Okay. And then this magnificent thing. Um, the Nikki Butler is having a renaissance right now with the younger generation. So excellent to find. And Nikki Butler used um, different qualities of moonstone uh, throughout the years as he grew and needed to source more and more and more this is very good this is probably pretty early it's beautiful and these okay these i have not been able to figure out what that mark is yet um when i first saw it i thought maybe 
it was like a Sam Kramer or, you know, in my fantasy, an art smith, right? No, I mean, no, of course not. Um, that's a mushroom. But someone who might have been influenced by that, uh, it's very modernist. I mean, it almost looks like a Native American hieroglyph kind of thing. But um, look at it. It's too modernist. It might be an Israel artist mark. Look, it's a bit of two-tone there at the end. This is lovely. It is oriented like that. So when you wear it, that is the top and that is the bottom. Uh, here is this up close. This turned out to be tanzanite and spinel. And incredible, incredible moonstone there. Oh my goodness. Look at the sparkle on the spinel. If you would like alerts when I go live with an auction or a sale or a pop-up or drop a video, text 917-809-7250. It is free. This is in fact Native American. I'm guessing it's a turquoise that I have to research because it has almost a depth to it. And the matrix is uh, like that gold color. There is the back. Um, it has the correct hallmark for native, just says sterling, old mark, probably an old ring, uh, heavy, heavy, super, super, super heavy, solid, beautiful. And then this is, where do I begin? Beautiful rose quartz, pink sapphire, black rhodium over sterling, uh, sort of a stylized, sort of a fleur de lis, sort of a floral, just beautiful. These are all topaz. This is a lot of gemstone weight and it's all topaz. That is all different colors of so blue topaz and pink topaz. And, um, oh, you know, I didn't test. I'm, I'm guessing that's amethyst. Yeah, I still have to test the smaller stones too. Pro probably spinel, black diamond. Uh, <laughs> look at this, look at the design of that. How great is that? That's a classic forever ring. And then this turned out to be opal and tourmaline i forgot this i'm just inserting it now look there's a hallmark on it Woohoo! this is incredible this is better than they thought i also saw a mark for the metal on the inside somewhere that was very very faded it looks scandinavian to me it looks mid-century Sometimes they didn't use sterling sometimes they used better than sterling and sometimes they used a little bit less well, this was the score of the day. Well, it was the first score of the day anyway, and a good one at that. If you know what this is, let me know in the comments below. I'm very curious. So a fantastic day. Stay tuned, subscribe if you haven't already, and stay up to date on the progress of the rings that I'm having made. And... don't forget i have sales twice a week wednesdays and fridays wednesday is an auction friday is a sale on the knee shopping network at 7 p.m eastern see you in the next one bye